Hey, what's up, peeps? This is your boy B coming to you from Iceberg Investment Foundation. Just wanted to speak to you today about selling uh, vehicles versus selling real estate. I've dibbled and dabbled a little bit in real estate, and I currently am dabbling in selling of vehicles. Uh, anybody that knows me knows I've been selling vehicles for nearly a decade now, and uh, for good reason. A lot of people tell you real estate is the way to go, and uh, in a way it is, all depending on what you are, uh, what you know. I firmly believe, and I've heard other wise investors say, never invest in something you don't understand. When I dove into real estate, I really didn't know much about it. Um, I didn't really take a loss, but I didn't strike gold either. I just broke even, got out of the game while I could. Before I lost my, my <coughs> excuse me, before I lost my hind parts, I went ahead and got out of the game. But uh, as far as um, selling vehicles, that's something I understand. I know a little bit about vehicles. I'm no mechanic, but I know the ins and outs. I know uh, how to tell if one's good, how to tell if one's bad. I know the value. I keep up with the market on vehicles. I know when a certain vehicle drops in value. And I know the vehicles that remain that hold their value, like Jeeps, things of that nature. Um, but like I said, I understand vehicles, so I don't understand, and I don't understand real estate. So that being said, when it comes down to real estate versus automobiles, which one you should uh, sell or get to the profession of dealing with, um, I say go with what you know. So yes, there's a ton of money in real estate more money theorologic theorologic whatever the word is <laughs> um theologically there should be more money made selling real estate for one real estate improves or increases in value over the years or at least it should as long as you don't let it get run down because there's not you're not making no more property so the property that sits on itself is going to be valued as long as you own that property you'll be good there uh the house as long as you keep it up it should at least hold its value. Uh, cars, on the other hand, vehicles, they depreciate the value. They're depreciating metal. I consider them blocks of ice. And if you have to move the ice, that means you're touching it. Like if you drive it, you're touching the ice so it's melting literally in your hand while you're holding the steering wheel because you're putting miles on it. So the value of that block of ice is decreasing with every mile you put on it. And every day that goes by because they're gonna keep making vehicles every year. They're gonna make a 2022 Ford F-150 next year, 2023 year after that, etc. So yeah, they're gonna keep making houses too. They're not gonna make no more land to put the houses on. So like I say, that's why I feel like real estate is more valuable. However, if you don't understand real estate and you're not up to or you're not feeling getting to know it, doing research, uh, speaking to people that's already been there and done that, getting an advisor on a situation. If you don't, if you're just not feeling up to par or up to doing that, but you do know more about vehicles, to me, it would make more sense to go into selling vehicles. Uh, like I said, there's way more money to be made selling real estate, but if you don't understand what you're doing, you can get in there and lose, just like the stock market. I don't understand the stock market really, so I don't, I stay away from it. But there is a lot of money to be made. I just don't know. I don't know how. Uh, I may in the future invest in that. But right now, uh, I'm just going with what I know. So, with all that being said, when it comes to real estate versus selling automobiles, or real estate versus anything, anything versus anything, you always should go with what you know. If you don't know it and you want to learn it, you need to, in my opinion, it wouldn't hurt to pay somebody. Uh, to have lunch with you and sit down and tell you how it works. Somebody that's already been there and done that. Somebody that owns some properties and stuff. If you really want to learn and get into that game, do your research first, by all means. But for me personally, automobiles have been the way to go. I'm an auto broker now, and uh, this is so far has been the most profitable gig I've had possibly ever. So, um, there you go. I mean, I, I've made more money doing this than I think I've made doing anything else. I made a 
over a thousand dollars today alone, just to one day. I mean, it's not always going to be that gravy, but a thousand dollar profit. You know, I'm not saying that's every day, but here lately, been pretty strong. But nevertheless, enough flexing. Um, if you uh, bear with me, I got my partner. He wants to have a word with you before we go. Bray Bray. You got something you want to say to the people? <laughs> so like, describe, uh, what was that other thing? Buy some merchandise, is that what you're saying, trying to say there? Yeah. And hit the bell button. Is that all you Look at our merchandise on our Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. On sale, we got a lot of stuff on sale right now. Uh, on now but yeah what he said so check us out appreciate your support thank you continue to be blessed and we'll see you next time deuces